Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so excited. March 3rd, I decided to pull out my gingham collection. So um, I have a white bookcase in our bedroom. And on the top shelf, I'm kind of creating like um, an entire like gingham setup. I like to display the gingham. I think it um, just represents the Bath and Body Works brand so well. It's super pretty. And um, I have so many gingham pieces that I was—I thought it'd be cool to like put them all on one shelf. Um, this was the advent calendar that came out over Christmas, and of course, it had all of these little um, pockets in it with products. And I actually have a couple of products in here. I actually couldn't even get this one out. This is the um, the perfume, the little travel size. So I actually just left it in there. <laughs> and then, of course. Um, we also have one of the Wallflower plugins that isn't necessarily um, gingham themed, but they gave us one of these, so I actually just kept this in there. But I'm absolutely keeping the box because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so, um, gotta get organized here, but I have a ton of gingham stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys. So, um, gingham is one of those scents that I recognize anywhere. Uh, the scent notes on it are blue freesia, white peach, uh, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. It is definitely a fresh, fruity, floral. Um, like I said, I recognize it everywhere. It's not my favorite Bath & Body Works scent, but usually in the spring, I wear it once or twice. Um, when I'm in like a fruity floral mood. <laughs> so obviously, um, of course, I have the body cream. I have the travel size and I have um, the full size. And like I said, I always try to buy anything um, gingham just because I like the way it looks. It's so pretty with the blue and the um, the white basket weave. I can't remember what your gingham came out. I should have looked that up. Um, but, you know, it's been around for a while. Uh, I do not have a full-size gingham shower gel because I really don't like gingham in the shower, but I did get the travel size with the, um, the advent calendar. It's a little too fruity floral for me in the shower. Um, I also have the Gingham Body Butter. Check this one out. It's funny because this doesn't doesn't resonate on camera too well because these are so brilliant white. Um, but I think I've used this a couple times. It's not bad. It smells pretty good in the body butter. And then, of course, check this out. I've got the Gingham Wallflower plug-in. Look how pretty that is with the blue. I really liked what they did with this. As far as, like branding. I think they did an absolutely wonderful job um, with the gingham. Some of the unusual pieces I have, of course, are the gingham bear. It's funny. These were so hard to get your hands on. What were these? These were uh, $12.50. Um, and then all of a sudden my store had like a huge basket of the gingham bear. So I bought like two. I'm like, you know what? They're cute. Um, I just like it as a brand keepsake. Um, I also have, check it out, this is kind of unusual, I do have the gingham in the bar soap. So last year, uh, Bath & Body Works came out with a bunch of bar soaps, and um, they showed up online for like a day, and then they kind of came down, um, and I bought a whole bunch of them. They were okay. Um, I just got this as, like I said, more of a keepsake, because I just wanted, um, you know, anything that's in gingham, I always buy like this. This is the uh, Moisturizing Mousse to Oil. Oh my gosh, this is an awesome formula. I really wish Bath & Body Works would uh, make more products in this formula. It's kind of like a, looks like shaving cream. Check that out. And then uh, when you put it on, it just really feels moisturizing um, and silky without feeling like sticky or oily. I love this stuff. Um, I did have a few Christmas ones. I think I had like a snowy morning uh, from a couple of years ago, but this is a formula that I wish they would do more of. Um, and like I said, it is called the Moisturizing Mousse to Oil. I can't remember when I picked that up. Um, of course, I have the Fine Fragrance Mist in Gingham. It's a light blue. And then I also have one of the antibacterial hand sprays. Check that out. Isn't that cool? I'm not using this one. Like I said, it's just in my gingham collection. Um, and then I have the, 
the hand soap. The hand soap's actually pretty nice. Um, if you're doing kind of a blue and white uh, theme in your kitchen. I mean, this looks really pretty in the kitchen. I highly recommend this one. It's Blue Freesia, uh, Sweet Clementine, and Soft Violet Petals. It does look super nice in the kitchen. Um, and I actually like it. I mean, it smells good as a kitchen soap. Um, I also have this. It is a solid perfume, which I got in the advent calendar. Um, I think I got that in the advent calendar. Um, yeah, I did, because I remember, look, it fell out. It, like, wasn't secured right. <laughs> But um, it's kind of a neat idea. I wish they would do more of these products in the entire line. And then, of course, I have um, a couple gingham hand creams. you got to have the gingham hand cream. And then I have um, the concentrated room spray. Look how pretty this is in the concentrated room spray, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, a little bit too floral for me in the room spray. Uh, if I were to use this one, I would use this in the kitchen, maybe just freshen it up. Uh, I feel like this one gets rid of kitchen smells, which is kind of nice. And then I've got this cute little gingham pocket back holder with the gingham pocket back. And then finally, I did buy one of the ornaments <laughs> this year uh, at Bath & Body Works. These were expensive. They were $19.95. I'm like, I'm not even paying $19.95 for a small ornament. So I ended up, I got these, this one for, it was 75% off uh, at some annual sale. So I'm pretty happy that at least I have one of the ornaments because um, they're kind of cute. So I did get that. And then finally, I do have the gingham in the single wick. Um, last Mother's Day, was that last Mother's Day they did the gingham bag? I think it was Mother's Day. So here is the bag. Check it out. Um, that we got. A lot of people weren't thrilled with it because it was like kind of a plasticky bag. I liked it for some reason. Um, I think it's really pretty. It's super brilliant. And you know what I do with this? I keep my bags in my bag. So I just have this on the top shelf of my bookcase. And then what I do is um, I keep all my bags in here. You know what? Maybe this was last Mother's Day. I have to look. Uh, remember the perfect peony bag? Um, we got that one. But you know what? I don't know why. I just really like these bags. I think they're nice. And then, of course, on Candle Day, um, we got the um, kind of collectible gingham bag also. So I do have a couple of those. But in here, I basically just keep, um, if I get new bags, I will stick them in here um, just to kind of collect. I did keep the one last year. Uh, remember, we had the tropical bag last year. And then, um, you know, the Halloween bag. Oh, my gosh. It was so much fun when Bath & Body Works did the cute little bags. That kind of stopped after the pandemic. Um, oh, I have a trick-or-treat bag in here. But um, I don't know why. I, I, I'm collecting bags. <laughs> but they're super cute. I do use a lot of bags. Not this size. But I use the bigger ones uh, when I go down to the beach. And um, I'll just stick all my stuff in there. Um, oh, my gosh, you guys. Remember these that came out? in February of last year. These are kind of cute. They were like the balloon on the stick. Um, these have held up the Bath and Body Works balloons for uh, Valentine's Day. So those are super cute. I don't have a lot of uh, bags in my bag collection, but um, the ones I do keep, like I said, I basically just stuck them in here and then it looks really cute in um, our bedroom. So what I do, like I said, it's, oops, <laughs> I almost lost it. I stick this on the top shelf and it just looks like a neat little uh, room decor, but I really like my bag. So anyway, um, overall, you know, gingham's one of those scents that is tried and true. It's always around. It's a beautiful fruity floral. If you like the fruity florals with a little bit of fresh in it, and I'm sure a lot of people use gingham because um, they're still selling it. Um, but for me, like I said, it's a little bit more of a keepsake um, because I think it just really represents the brand in an awesome way. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of gingham, and I will be back later. Bye-bye.